What's up guys? Today's Sunday um, and we're going to do our q and I know I said yesterday I was going to do my video and once again I got my camera in there and I forgot the SD card in my computer so uh, I actually did a video on my phone. I uploaded it last night and um, the audio, something was wrong with the audio. So I'm going to grab a clip from that and it will be at the end of the Q&A. So if you want to watch those squats and bench, just stay tuned. Um, I will post the workout in the description for you guys. And other than that, let's go ahead and get started. I know I was lazy all week. Um, so. I am sorry about that. I haven't been on top of my YouTube game lately. It's been mostly like trying to, you know, work with Chris and trying to post like Instagram stuff here and there and then um, a lot of online stuff and I need to go clean my garage today. So that's the plan there. Um, not too much uh, video time today, hopefully. So let's hop right into it. I think I've asked or answered Zach's questions before, but Zach Utke asks, "Oh, this is the silly one. Is your real name Jesus, or is Jesse actually just a cover-up?" Uh, I think Jesse's my real name, but uh, thought that was funny, and it's up upvoted a lot. Um, Gains and Glory asks a few questions, uh, so let's get into that. How would you go about training on a calorie deficit? Well, um, honestly, I don't change my training at all. I just don't go super heavy. So I don't go up really past 80% if I'm in a deficit. And if I am, you're probably going to feel like shit. And it's potentially going to increase the risk of injury. So I don't always recommend it. Uh, but the high volume stuff on a deficit, it sucks. But you can do it. And it's it works wonders. So um, that's good there. If you were limited barbells only, what sort of accessory work would you do for strengthening the squat, bench, and deadlift? Well, for the squat, we do front squats, so that's my accessory there. For the deadlifts, we do deficit deadlifts. <laughs> that's what we do for that. And for bench, I would probably do either close grip or I'd do floor presses just to work that upper range of motion. Um, three, not much of a question as request, but can you make a video on common beginner mistakes and things to do at your first meet? That would be a great video and I will do my best to get that in within the next couple weeks for you guys. So that's a great topic and I totally agree. Excuse me, I just had my, well, not my pancakes, my eggs and hash browns and that was delicious. So I'm like burping all of a sudden. Uh, Diego Alaris, I'm terrible with names, man. Alaris, how do you deal with lower back pain and SI joint inflammation? As you mentioned before, you fight it often. Uh, keep up the videos, man. They're gold. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um, so in a, I had a mobility video in the past. That's a lot of like the stretching and rolling out type stuff I do. And another great device is this Compex. Um, it's just a stem device and I throw it on like my low back or any areas that are inflamed and it basically just helps to break that inflammation up and get blood circulating and it really just improves the recovery of those areas. So stem, ice, stretching, rolling out, um, those are the biggest things that I do to keep my body in top performance. I do that for my SI joint, I do it for my knees, any any area that's really um, lacking recovery is what I'll do that for. So that's what I'd recommend for you. John T. <laughs> I have a feeling this was a joke, but it's actually probably also a serious question for some guys. Like I've, uh, I was curious about it before myself. John T. S. Or thoughts on sex slash masturbation before meat or leading up to meat. Or leading up to heavy training session. Um, honestly, I guess I'll just, I don't even know if I should tell you that, but honestly, I've never made or felt that there was any dif difference whether I didn't have sex or did. 
um, right before me. So, uh, I guess to answer that, I don't, I was curious about it, but I don't really think that it makes a difference. If it makes you tired, obviously don't do it right before me, but, um, the night before or something, it's, I feel like it's totally fine. Um, so if that was a serious question, there's a serious answer. Uh, otherwise you can laugh at me. <laughs> Anton Borit, Borkik? Oh man, terrible. Uh, what has better carryover to the bench press? Overhead press or push press? And what do you think is better? Uh, personally for me, I always struggle on the lockout. So I feel like what works best for me is push press because I'm able to work that higher end a little bit more uh, versus just a strict overhead because I struggle so much um, with the delts and upper part of my chest and it's just not that strong for me so I don't I'm not able to get uh, a ton of weight where if I do a push press I can really work my triceps and lock out so that's what works best for me what works best for you might differ if you struggle getting it off your chest then probably just do a strict press and really work that bottom end and bringing it off your chest. Um, Jesse Olds, uh, Jesse, do you do any bicep, direct bicep training? And you guys are probably going to hate me for this. I don't know if you ever seen my biceps. I'm not going to flex for you right now. But I'd say I have, you know, decent biceps. Uh, in 8th grade, I trained biceps directly, maybe ninth grade, stuff like that, but I've never, I never really trained biceps ever directly. It's all secondary with my lap pull-downs and pull-ups and rows, stuff like that. It's all a secondary muscle, and that works fine for me, I guess. Uh, I've never had to really focus, you know, once in a while I might do some curls, but that is, you know, very rare. For me to do um it's i only do it if i'm really looking to get a pump for some reason so so no i don't do any bice direct bicep training or it's not you know listed in my program so uh everything i do is all secondary so hopefully that answers your question uh hopefully you don't hate me <laughs> but uh that's that's what i do um buffed bear nice nice username um, has a few questions. One I already answered. One, which belt do you use? My belt is super old. It's like 40 or 50 years old. I think it's an old Inzer belt. It's literally like leather that you'd get from a cowhide. Um, and it's super worn in. My coach, uh, Steve Brayborn, who coached me out through high school, he gave that to me. And, um, I really cherished that and have used it over the years. Uh, I think it's an Enzer. You're not going to find them anymore, um, but it's a 13 millimeter single prong belt. Um, you can find lots of those, obviously, different material, and they're a lot stiffer nowadays. But I like mine that kind of, it like forms around my, uh, my body a little bit, and it's a lot more comfortable, and I, I love it, so. Um, two, do you see a use in a post-workout shake? Yes, uh... And what post-workout do I use? So, two questions in one. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, post-workout, I think it's really important to get your protein in. Uh, maybe some carbs if needed. And then I also tend to, well, I tend to take glutamine and BCAAs throughout the day. But uh, creatine as well, post-workout. Um, right now, I take Recaged, and it has everything in there for you. Obviously, use the carbs to boost your insulin a little bit. And then the protein and everything with that boosted insulin, it's going to help uh, metabolize uh, the protein and uh, better utilize that for recovery. So, And they say you have a 30 minute window after workout. I don't know if 30 minutes is absolute, but um, you know, as soon as you can post-workout to get that kind of stuff in. I think that's very important uh, just for recovery purposes and helping your metabolism, things like that. Uh, you also asked about inflamed lower back. I think I just explained that earlier, so try to refer back to that. Uh, B-Ling, this is the last question, guys. You asked what my opinion on squatting every day is. And my opinion on it is I can't do it. Um, you know, obviously, maybe I could with, you know, 
one high intensity day and then a lot of really low intensity days. Right now I do front squats, which is typically lower intensity, and then I do my high intensity on Saturday. And that's enough for me, like, if I did any more, I'm not sure I could recover. You know, I also have two days where I'm deadlifting, so I try to allow myself a little bit of recovery in between those days, and then if I was to do any more, uh, A, I don't think I'd get the work on my deadlifts that I like, or B, I'd feel like shit and nothing would work for me. So, I know there's a Corey Gregory Squat Everyday program. I've had some good reviews. Mainly if you're looking like to increase, you know, quad and hamstring strength and glutes, like get your lower body bigger and stronger, your squat stronger. I think it's a good program because he has a lot of different variations from just squatting and then it's like the intensity is always changing. So that's good. If you have the knees for it, if you have the back for it, go for it. But uh, my knees kill me um, and I'm just trying to stay healthy right now so I couldn't do it I don't think. Um, I'm going to stray away from those things. Alright guys, so that's all the questions I picked out today. These were all the uh, most upvoted or most relevant questions, I think. Um, so keep those coming in. This week's uh, Q&A, I believe it's Q&A number 13. Uh, leave your comments, questions, upvote the ones you want answered, and I will get do my best to get to those. Um, other than that, I'm going to try to be more active on YouTube this week. Also, uh, Squats and Bench are going in right after this, so if you want to watch those, Stay tuned. Um, other than that, guys, you know what to do. Please like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And we should see you Monday. I'll do my best to do Monday. Actually, I know you guys wanted to see a full, like, meal day. And I think Monday might be the one. So stay tuned for that, guys. We will talk to you tomorrow.
to think that I'm a freak when I'm talking to myself. But it's like I was too weak to be someone else. You could think that I'm a creep when I'm singing alone. But it's like I couldn't see straight.